Hi Janine, this is Lucia. So I am here at the gym and if you, as you guys know, I watch your videos while I am working out. But I had to stop and make you this video because seriously my heart was aching by watching your, your video. I, 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 first of all, you know I love you, right? You know that you are a special lady that I really love and I care about you a lot. So I have a couple of things to tell you. First of all, it's all bullshit that you're saying, okay? And I say this in the most loving way ever. You were rationalizing a way to justify to yourself that you wanted to eat those foods, all right? And I'm saying this because that's what I see from you. It's not like because you're a bad person. It's because that's how your brain works. That's how you are working and that's, honey, how you got, how you gain all that weight. Uh, I understand what you're saying. I actually stopped the video when you said, well, you're gonna say you're my coworkers, I'm not gonna judge me, but this is New York, you don't know how it is. I have something to tell you. Who gives a shit what everybody thinks of you? You got this job not because you, you, you wanted to fit in, because you did fit in. You, you got this job because you stood out. So I don't understand why a lady who is so special is trying so hard to fit in when you were born to stand out. You know, and I can tell you that the majority of your subscribers feel the same way about you. Uh, there's nothing wrong. I mean, you can't fit in by being nice to everybody, by, by participating on the jokes that maybe you don't find it funny, uh, doing stuff that you don't want to do. You fit in on those things. But you did three, not only one, you did three freaking weight loss surgeries to lose weight. And you're sabotaging yourself? because you want to fit in, and I don't, I don't buy that. Seriously, this is something that you're rationalizing for yourself because it is hard. You are stressed out, it's a new job, I get that. And uh, that's your whole old mentality of being insecure, which led you to be the size you are. I wonder if you think about the past, if you're not gonna find moments in your life where you ate twice or three times because you were invited because you just had dinner or lunch and you were invited out and you ate again. So you didn't want people to think, oh, you know, she's eating too much or whatever. Janine, it really, nobody really cares about that. Nobody's gonna be pinpoint, people are gonna actually be envious of you to say, wow, look at her self-control. This chick is here, she came to a ball game and she has the confidence to come here with us and say, I, you know, fuck this. I love hot dog, but I'm not gonna eat the bun and I'm gonna stick my fingers full of mustard and ketchup and I'm gonna lick my fingers off. And people will say, wow, you know, you're gonna stand out. You need to stand out and you're not gonna be on a cocky way. People are gonna single you out and say, she's special, she, she's confident. You know, if you are a salesperson uh, on the sales department, I think that's what you said, you're a buyer, you need to send out this image that you are confident about yourself. Okay, so being confident means you're gonna take me the way I am. You're doing nothing wrong by uh, choosing the food you eat. And I guarantee to you that people will, will uh, recognize that and value you and single you out and say, wow, she is, she's something, something else, look at her. I mean, she's able to come here and she chooses stuff, but she's still, she is still nice, she still participates, and, uh, and that's that. Now, I hope that I can inspire you to do something. 
I understand what you're going through, okay? I understand that mentality to fuck it. I, I ate carbs or I ate a piece of pizza for lunch. I'm gonna eat it for dinner, whatever I want. I understand that because there are those days where I do the same. But I cannot rationalize and find excuses for myself to make it okay to do it. It's, oh, okay, that's how it is. I ate it, that's how it works, and that's why, how I'm gonna do it. No, no, honey, don't do that. This is the behavior that got you to weigh more than 300 pounds, and you don't want this, okay? So, understand that, okay, you don't want to, feel, to be cocky, you don't have to be cocky, and I tell you, I don't live in New York, but I've been there several times, and I can tell you that in New York or in California, if you do something healthy and good for yourself, people are gonna see that more than if you wanna fit in. So, you were born to shine. Seriously, you were born to shine. Don't try to fit in, because fitting in, especially in bad behavior, it's terrible. So, talk to you later, bye.